These are the 20 most disgusting junk food fails ever. Number 20. Celery Jello This jiggly food quickly became a famous dessert. It's easy to prepare and doesn't take too much time to cook. In the 1960s, Jell-O introduced a new flavor, celery. Surprisingly, it was a very famous flavor back then, and people used to make salads with it. They were also used as a go-to food in events, and it wasn't the only flavor. There were three more veggie flavors. What were they thinking? Number 19. Baked Bean Pizza Now, who doesn't love pizzas? We can eat it any day, any time. In fact, if possible, it should also be there at every event, right? But what if we told you there was a pizza that made us question a company senses. In the 1990s, our favorite brand Heinz made a pizza product with baked beans. What? Guess Heinz lost its mind during that time, but thank heavens they got it back in 2003 and discontinued it. Number 18. Gerber Singles We all feel lazy, especially after a hard working day, and cooking is out of the question when we live alone. That's when we look for ready to eat food. A big savior, Gerber, who is famous for its baby food, decided to make a product for college students students and workers who live alone. In 1974, they came up with ready-to-eat food similar to baby food, which failed big time. Like, why would anyone want to eat mushy meat? Number 17. The Chicken Dinner Candy Bar Munching on a candy bar when we want to eat something quick or when we don't have time seems to be an ideal fit. In 1920, Chicken Dinner Candy Bars was launched to cope with the money crunch and also to avoid cooking dinners. Imagine having a candy bar that is made with vegetables and chicken and coated with chocolate. Nah, we'll stick to our Snickers and granola bars. Number 16. Easy Squirt Ketchup Ketchup with fried foods, hot dogs are a yes please. But what if somebody wanted to mess it up? Well, Heinz did. Yes, guess they didn't learn from their other failed products. In the 2000s, they decided to bring out ketchup that looked like a rainbow for a limited time to make food fun and appetizing. Still, unfortunately, it didn't seem too appealing. We wonder who comes up with such ideas. Number 15. Ready Bacon What better than a crispy bacon for breakfast with a side of scrambled eggs? We just love bacon for breakfast. Ready, famous for its whipped cream, decided to make people's lives easier by introducing pre-cooked bacon. Though all it needed was toasting, it didn't work in the market. It's because it didn't taste good. Sorry, Ready, but we love our bacon fresh. Number 14. Ranch Dressing Soda Soda with fried wings or with any junk food is a great combination. Lester, who's known to bring out weird flavored sodas like buffalo wings soda, peanut butter and jam, also produced a soda with ranch. Two minutes silence for the brave people who actually tried it. Number 13. Cereal Milk Cold milk and cereal. It doesn't really matter now which one you pour first. It is just another favorite breakfast food for many. But how would you feel having cereal as a drink? The original cereal milk is actually a drink which tastes just like cereal. Hey, we won't judge if you're among those who like this drink. Number 12. Creamy White Finishing Sauce We all love smooth flavored white sauce dishes, and making something from the start can get boring for some people. A company named Master Food produced a product called Creamy White Finishing Sauce. Though many people love this sauce, Many were afraid of buying it because of the name. Ah, master food. You could have done better with the name. Number 11. Kid Cuisine Have you ever had a meal from Kid Cuisine? When the product came to the market for the first time, kids really wanted to try it out, especially because of the Star Wars edition. What seemed like a great idea was not really great because of the portion and lack of walls in between foods. Kids would not really like getting their food mixed. Number 10. Pringles, mozzarella, and marinara chips. Mozzarella sticks dipped with marinara sauce are a match made in heaven. Pringles, who's famous for their different flavored chips, thought of doing something adventurous for the people who craved restaurant food. They once launched chips based on dishes that people loved ordering from restaurants. One was mozzarella and marinara chips, which were really unnecessary. Companies like doing weird things. Number 9. Swedish Fish Flavored Oreos Oreos as dessert, in milkshakes or in ice cream or even just milk, is an absolute hit. But what if they pair it with some weird flavor? Well, in 2016, a new flavor came into the market named Swedish Fish Flavored Oreos. The cream is made with gummy flavor and a chocolate wafer to make it taste like Swedish fish. Ooh. If fishy Oreos are your thing, they are still out there. Number 8. Tato Cheese and Onion Crisps Chocolate 
All of us have our own choice of chocolates from a few favorite brands, but sometimes these brands can go crazy with their innovation. If you're a fan of Tato, you might remember their chocolate bar flavor, cheese and onion crisps chocolate. The chocolate didn't just fail, but even said ciao within a year. Like, hello, people are not crazy to try this. Number seven, soda-flavored Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are a very popular candy bar among people. It comes with so many varieties of flavor. These Pop-Tarts are even eaten simply microwaved. They introduced soda-flavored Pop-Tarts in the market, which is not popular, but people still do buy them. Are you a fan of this confusing combination? Number six, Coca-Cola Black. People still debate between Coca-Cola and Pepsi's taste. Each of us has our own favorite. Coca-Cola has always surprised us with its flavors. In 2006, they introduced Coca-Cola Black, which was a coffee-flavored soda. A lot of people didn't want to try black, mostly because of the extra caffeine. It was discontinued in 2008. Just coffee, please. Number five, Hostess Twinkies. How many of you like sponge cake filled with cream? Also, how many of you are a fan of Shrek? Back when Shrek was very popular, many companies started selling products based on Shrek. One of the companies was Hostess, who introduced a Ghostbuster filling sponge cake, giving a green color to it. It was not well accepted because of too much filling, which grossed out people. So how many of you have tried this cake? Number four, Canned Whole Chicken. A whole chicken to make a juicy roast chicken with roast potatoes? Sounds good, doesn't it? But what if it's canned whole chicken? A chicken soaked in vinegar and salt, which is then canned, is a real thing. If you think it would taste good, then we're sorry to disappoint you. Rest in peace, chicken. Number three, McDonald's Hula Burger. McDonald's sells one of the best burgers in the world. Just as they were popular with burgers, they're also famous for their sides. In the 1960s, McDonald's decided to introduce a burger for the people who did not want meat. The burger came with a big chunk of pineapple as the patty with cheese covered with buns. The biggest question is, why pineapple? And on top of that, with cheese? Wasn't pineapple pizza enough? Number two, canned cheeseburger. A fresh cheeseburger is heaven. But what if you're served a canned cheeseburger? Yeah, you heard it right. There is something called a canned cheeseburger. A burger with beef patty, cheese, veggies, ketchup, and canned is nothing but destruction of this amazing food. It was introduced by German companies, an aromatic burger, but believe us, it is not. Number one, cotton candy balls. Eating cotton candy in a fair or amusement park is a must on the to-do list for many. The sweet cotton that melts inside your mouth is just so amazing. Hair, who is famous for their cheese balls, decided to bring out an all-new product, cotton candy balls. Hate to break it to you, it's nothing like cotton candy. And it's actually just a flavored crispy ball, just like any other product. Are you ready to watch another fun video? Click the video on screen now or the one linked below.